everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Juliette and this is my channel, Mama Tried. We are going to be making carrot and zucchini bars. I got really excited whenever I saw this recipe because I thought it would be perfect for Luxie and I would also enjoy them myself. So this recipe goes for pretty much every age. Let's go ahead and get started. I also wanted to mention that all of the ingredients I'll be using today came from Aldi. I am a total Aldi nerd. Um, this video is not sponsored. I just wanted to let you guys know their produce selection is awesome. All of the baby food that I made for Luxie all came from Aldi at a very, very affordable price. So if you don't shop there, go ahead and shop there for your little ones because their produce is awesome and it's just an all around healthy store. So let's go ahead and get started. This recipe calls for one cup of grated zucchini, half a cup of grated carrot, and one third cup of grated cheddar cheese. I'm gonna go ahead and put the recipe up on the screen right now so you can screenshot it so you can reference back to it later. I have my food processor right here with the grater attachment. I really didn't want to grate all this by hand, so I'm going to go ahead and get started on that. I love this thing. Do you know how long that would have taken me by hand? Oh my gosh. Yeah, that definitely looks like a cup, if not more. My hands are washed, by the way. They're washed like every 20 minutes, so don't worry about that. So I am going to make sure that this is a cup. Oh yeah, this is more than a cup. Okay, that should be plenty. So you just need one zucchini and you don't even need a large zucchini at that. I'm gonna go ahead and do my carrots. And I really don't know how many carrots this is gonna take. Hopefully not that many. That actually looks like plenty and I just used one carrot. Let's see if that is half a cup. It looks like half a cup. Oh yeah. Faux sure. Okay, so that looks good. I'm grating my cheese next. So I'm gonna go ahead and clean this out. All right, you guys, I am back to go ahead and grate the cheese. I'm gonna go ahead also and preheat my oven to 375 degrees. Okay, so now that that's warming up, I'm gonna go ahead and shred my cheese. The Happy Farms brand from Aldi, the cheese is actually really good. I get all of my cheese from there in blocks and I just shred it myself. It saves me so much money. So if you guys are interested in saving money, and not getting all the crap that the shredded cheese has in it in your body, then I would do that. That was definitely more than the third cup. Put that in there. I do a heaping third cup. We like cheese, okay? So I basically have all of my ingredients. I'm gonna go ahead and put my eggs in here. So you're going to need three eggs. I'm going to lightly whisk them. Okay, that should be good. Okay, now you get a medium sized pan. Put it on like medium heat and you're going to want some oil, preferably extra virgin olive oil. You'll need one tablespoon, about. So there's a tablespoon of my olive oil. And I'm gonna let that heat up for a minute. This recipe actually called for onions as well, but I didn't feel like it was necessary, so I did not add the onion. So feel free to add onion in there or probably like three shallots. Once this oil heats up, we're gonna go ahead and add the zucchini and the carrots. 
and mix them around for about four to five minutes or until they're soft. remove this from heat and let it cool for about five to ten minutes it just depends on how long it takes it i went ahead and took the carrot zucchini mixture off of heat and i'm going to let that go ahead and cool down for about five to ten minutes i think that the carrots and zucchini are cool now so i'm going to go ahead and mix all of my ingredients together so i'm going to mix the zucchini and carrots with the eggs and the cheese and I have one tablespoon of flour. And the flour. So it would be better to add wheat flour instead of regular flour if you can find some. When I went to the store last, I couldn't even find any flour. So this is what I've got to work with. Mix your ingredients really, really good. This is what it should look like all mixed together. I'm gonna go ahead and put it in a pan. So you're going to want a square, small, pan like this and don't forget to spray it because you don't want it to stick. Okay, so all nice and sprayed down and then just add your mixture. I'm going to go ahead and put it in the oven for 12 minutes and then we will come back and check on it. See you guys back in 12 minutes. Remember whenever I said put them in the oven for 12 minutes? It took more like 20 minutes. So just an FYI, I'll change the recipe. Don't you worry. This is probably frowned upon taking something hot out of the oven with a baby on your hip, but I really don't have a choice. Do you guys want to see what happens when I put her down? Didn't think so. Check out that sizzle. I am going to let that cool and then we will do the Luxie taste test. I think that pretty much sums it up for today's video. Luxie clearly enjoyed the carrot and zucchini bites and so did I. I had like three of them and I will definitely be making those again. So I hope you guys try the recipe and let me know down below in the comments if you try it or if you plan on trying it. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more of our videos. If you will go over to Instagram and follow me, my handle is at mama tried official. Bye-bye. Bye, guys.